Hey guys, APOC here. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at some new heroes today. Uh, as you probably noticed, we're on the test server. Finally got access to this bad boy. And today we are going to play around with uh, Jira. You know, she's a beast. She's a beast. And we're going to play around with Init. Init. All right. So. One thing that I was looking at both of these heroes and they have something in common and it, which I thought they would be very good uh, uh, working in synergy with one another, right? And it's this right here. Well, there's two things, but this is one of them. Increased damage in your arena by 15%, right? And then you come over to her, she's got the same thing. So both of them have an increase of 15% in the arena. That lets me know right there, I want to use these guys in the arena. But how else am I going to do that? You know, this, this individual here, she has a 17 cost. You know, it's going to take forever to put a 17 cost out. So, you know, how, how are we going to get around that? We, we need to put it down fast without, you know, taking up a, um, a, a space that, that uh, could be for a damage hero, right? Uh, I'm talking about the team in the arena. Uh, but there was also one thing here. I was looking at Mr. Init. And where is it? Where is it? Right here. It said his passive. When attacking, each ancient core has a 20% chance to deal an extra true damage equal to 30% attack one time and heal the assigned ally for 20% of the true damage dealt. Now that is awesome because this little lady here is a fighter and she takes a lot of damage because of, where is it? Where is it? Right here. Because of this, it says her passive is uh, um, a mark of retribution, right? Inflicts retribution on enemies. Well, what is retribution? The caster receives 30% more damage from units inflicted with retribution. So she's going to get 30% more damage dealt to her from whatever bad guy is inflicted with re retribution. That sounds terrible. Why would you like that? We'll, we'll continue. When attacking a target with retribution, deals additional damage up to 4% of the hero's max HP. All damage received from enemies not inflicted with retribution is reduced by 30%. So, even though that you have that one individual that will have retribution and they will have an increase of 30% attack towards you, all the rest of them have 30% reduced attack towards you, right? So, it, 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 it works out very well for you if you're dealing with mobs coming towards you, which is absolutely great for the arena, right? It says all damage received from enemies not inflicted with retribution is reduced by 30%. Uh, I already said that. Uh, switching targets removes retribution inflicted on the previous target, right? So it's not like you're going to get retribution on 100 people. It, it, the way it sounds is only one, one at a time. Um, but because of that, she's going to be taking extra hits, extra uh, uh, damage. And with that passive, he's going to do a little extra healing as well. So with all of that working together, first, uh, yeah, this is, this is how we do it. Test server is a little weird. All right, so I go to guild. Jump on Mortar Mike here. My main man, Mortar Mike. All right, looks like he's got two of them set up. We'll go ahead and get this the single target one going. I mean, he got a pretty, pretty stacked team there. All right, so this is my team. This is the, the people I decided to play with. This is not really necessary. I just threw it in there because of um, Rage Regen and uh, later uh, later waves of guys are going to be dishing out a lot more um, attack, so the healing may be needed. I haven't got that far in the, in the rounds, but replace it with someone else if you want. Anyway, so the main thing I was talking about was this little lady here was putting her down because she had a 17 cost. So that's why I'm using Serene. Serene, if you look over here, has a 11 cost, 11 cost, super cheap. And if you remember, as soon as you start the arena, you start with 10, you know, so it's just within one second or so you're able to lay this hero down and really uh, stop the baddies from moving, right? Uh, just take over an area, you know, of superiority, essentially. So I did that, but she's not really a huge attacker. So what I did is I built her like a tank, 56,000 HP. All right, now, yeah, it's not a ton, but she's not super tanky. But uh, what I've done is build her with HP, HP, 
HP. Now, I do have Rage Regen in every single one of these two because I'm trying to get Rage Regen as much as possible uh, on the side here anyway. But if you look over here, I've got Rage Regen up to 63. I mean, if you can get it over 100, that's nice too. But I'm not going to nitpick. And I wanted some pretty fat, uh, uh, you know, uh, HP there. So the survivability could be there, right? So we got that going. We got her set up. Oh, and uh, for her artifact, I just put this uh, Lunacy Visor on. Gives him one extra block and helps with the healing, which obviously she's going to need being the tank. All right. <clears throat> this little lady here, Jira. I've got just a quick equipped on her, but she's got a ton, a ton of attack. A ton, just base ton of attack. And uh, just putting some basic gear on her. Plus, her 23? That's insane. It's insane. And I've got a crit captain. I've only got her at a little bit of crit damage, you know. We might need to move her around, put more crit damage, but not so much in the arena, I believe. So, anyway, we're going to ride with that. That's going to give us some good uh, um, some good stats to play around with. But if you notice, I kept all these, what do you call them, tier 1 pieces of gear? Uh, they're they're not the the super high end 21 plus level gear raid type gear um these are some pretty fair stats uh some of them are pretty darn good uh, but these are all the types of things that you could get on normal gear after playing for a little while and then of course if you're able to ascend or you know get the next level gear you're going to get better because the base stats here what was it like uh was it 66 and 72 for the crit, uh, crit damage or something like that like it, it it's a significant boost when you when you go up the the next uh you know available gear stat so this is what i have uh this is what i have on her and i put a wailing skull on her just to get that little extra damage because i like that uh summons an additional person with 150 percent of the hero's uh, you know attributes and when she's got tributes like this pfft, son i'm gonna want a clone on the ground you know what i'm saying so that's why i use that uh this guy uh, same same concept here, just basic gear, um, and I have him at eighteen thousand attack, only twenty uh, HP, not really needed. Who cares? Uh, Four fifty four, so that's that's fancy, that's nice. Uh, crit capped and only two sixty eight. So again, you know, you still have room to go up on uh, crit damage there and really build him out even more. All the heroes I do have um, all the skills max, just so you kind of get a good idea of what what you're playing with there. And uh, then I got a max tier of Twilight fairly easy to get at least one max tier of twilight so and then uh, uh silas silas just does typical silas stuff nothing fancy here he's got 16 you know I, I built him so that he would not be the strongest specifically so he's there to help out with a little bit of uh single target damage but outside of that you know he's just uh doing his thing uh and i put the healer in there like i said just 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 for the rage regen and and possibly late stage uh healing for the tank but we'll see we'll see these two team member or these three i should say these three jira uh, uh in it and serene are a great team watch this right off the bat boom we'll put her right here to the side all right takes that hit come on Come on, there we go. Boom. Now we can make some things happen. Look at that freaking HP drop. Jesus, that's quick. Bam. All right. Not too far behind him, though. Mike, Mike's, Mike's pretty close. He got uh, Val, Val, Valderion. Is that his name? He's got him out there killing it. And he's doing good. He's doing good. I'm waiting. I don't want to use him yet. I want to use him yet. Now I can put him down. Excellent. There we go so now i got the team i want now we're just gonna murder look at that so fast so fast look at the damage pumping out on these guys jesus christ Woo! save some for the next round <laughs> all right now since that's done with wait till these guys come out there you go and popping this guy look at that jesus just melted just melted <laughs> uh I'll get silas over here help him out with that one now his, his uh in it in its ultimate is insanely strong but it is fast it is very fast very fast so be be on top of it man make sure you do your timing good 
all right i got him got mike all right man that was that was fun i really like that because i like the i was about to say camaraderie <laughs> it's not like they're hanging out on the weekend <laughs> but i do like i like the fact that you can use these uh three in, in, in here let me just do this there we go <laughs> you can use these three together right here to be very efficient like i was saying you're using her as a tank because you can get her out very quickly and she has that rage regen so that you're able to put the rest of the team out on the field very quickly as well but she's able uh serene's able to stop the bad guys from moving so that you can put your higher cost fighters out on the ground <coughs> without your area of influence moving too far down south right that is the big key i believe to using uh these two in the arena because you know with the arena anytime you know how you start out on the top and then the guy slowly moving down to the bottom the, su the southern side of the screen anytime you're messing around on the south side of the screen you're already messed up already messed up so anytime that you can get a hero out as soon as possible on the ground to stop those movement uh movement of the troops or, or, or the bad guys you need to do it and you need to do it quick and that's why i love serene she you know is just a basic epic hero she comes out of, of nowhere and she makes a whole team of goldens uh just shine shine and i freaking love it anyway this is a quick video i want to give you guys some heads up on an arena team that i'm really hoping to use once i get uh, some of these other guys unlocked on my um uh global account but let me know what you guys thought about the synergy between these guys make sure to like and subscribe share the video if need be right make sure it gets around so everyone sees this and uh let me know your thoughts i'd love to get some feedback from you guys and uh you know till next time epoch out if you enjoyed that video guys check out my channel here or my latest video here till next time epoch out